everyone. Welcome to today's Art Chat. Art Chats are short conversations with a variety of people in our community. Based on my knowledge of the person and their line of work, I'll select a single object from the Ringling collection that I think may resonate with them. Then I'll ask for their off-the-cuff responses to the image. My guest today is Virginia Haley, who is the president of Visit Sarasota County. Virginia has served at the helm of Visit Sarasota County since 1999. Visit Sarasota County is an independent partnership organization serving all of Sarasota County and delivers an innovative tourism marketing campaign to benefit the citizens of Sarasota. So Virginia, thank you so much for being here today. I know you're very busy and have a lot to do, so we appreciate having you as our guest. This will be a wonderful moment of relief. Good, good. I think we all need those, right? Yeah. Uh, so before I give you any concrete information about this painting that I've selected, I'd like to just get your initial reaction. What strikes you about this image? Uh, well, first of all, I have to confess, um, I laugh because it's one of the works of art that I use with my grandchild because we love to hunt dogs. Oh, awesome. It's okay. Great. <laughs> this is one of our favorites. It was an old friend that you're returning yeah, to. It's an old friend. And my immediate reaction is longing for the scene. I miss mm. people. I miss our Sarasota Farmer's Market. Uh, the bustling, the everybody together, the, the commerce, the trade. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and, that, and that's actually why I chose this image to me. It always reminds me of the Sarasota Farmer's Market. So we're totally in, in the same line of thinking there. Um, yeah, and, and this is a scene, I've got some information here. This is a scene actually painted um, in Italy in the 1750s. Um, but so much of it feels so relevant to our own experience in Sarasota, or at least what used to be our experience in Sarasota in high season. Um, and I've, I've been coming to this image a lot recently, not only for the sort of longing like you've described of the bustling community, people being together, um, but also this idea that these are people, you know, you see on the upper levels in the balconies, these are Italians coming out on their balconies. We've seen that scene happening a lot in the news lately of people who have to be separated in some sense, but are trying to find ways to, to come together. Um, so yeah, absolutely. I mean, this image, it just it encompasses a lot for me and it sounds like for you as well. And of course there's, there's the dogs, which is always good. <laughs> there's the dog and the chaos with the horse. Yes. Which it, yes. It's always been something It's like, um, you know, it's like the poor horse, the chaos. He obviously has a lot of brass wear, so it must've been a complete total commotion going on. Mm -hmm. In a sense, it's a very loud scene. Very, very loud. Yes, I think you would just, if you stepped into it, you'd almost want to cover your ears between yeah. the, the breaking of the, the vessels and the people shouting and talking and chatting and laughing. Absolutely. <laughs> so so you, you, we've both sort of re referenced this image in relation to the Sarasota Farmer's Market. So I want to talk a little bit about the scene in Sarasota right now. Um, how is Visit Sarasota County responding to the crisis? Can you tell me what conversations you're having as the city is essentially shut down? We've had, we're staying in very close conversation with everyone in our industry and trying to help them, get them help as much as possible. We're also still making sure, you know, we have Sarasota out there. Obviously we're like everyone else, we're not doing our regular advertising. We suspended that in, in March, mm -hmm. but you know, we are trying to uh, promote the things like the virtual tours that exist of Ringling Museum. In fact, we've aggregated so many virtual opportunity in the arts. We sort of separated that into its own page. We're getting people to use different universal um, hashtags to promote the curbside dining for our restaurants who are still open, mm -hmm. you know, and still um, supporting those people who are still trying to safely do uh, commerce, um, what I'm seeing is it's getting harder and harder. For example, some of our vendors from the Sarasota Farmers Market try to do some direct to consumer selling without being in the market itself. And it just, mm -hmm. it just was very hard. Some of them are regrouping. They may come back with some other ideas, but, you know, not having that communal experience has proved very, very difficult for them. And then of mm -hmm. course, uh, building for that time when it's not only safe to travel, but the big question will be, you know, will consumers be ready to travel, even mm -hmm. when the government says it's safe? And, and that's where I think 
Sarasota with being able to offer things like the museum and other experiences where you're not in big crowds will probably mm -hmm. be a, a plus for us when we get to that point. And of course, there's so much unknown um, when this will all resolve it and how things will be shaped and moving forward. But will your messaging change significantly? Uh, will your sort of plan of attack change significantly? I know you, you mentioned you know, promoting opportunities where you can be sort of spread out in more open spaces, but is this, is this causing a drastic shakeup in, in your field the way it is in the museum field and other fields? Uh, it, drastic shakeups. And for instance, um, there's some important research from a national firm looking at consumer sentiment. Last week, seven days ago, it mm -hmm. said people were kind of thinking this summer about taking a vacation, but it's going to be just a short drive from home mm -hmm. or even in their own community. In seven days time, they're no longer talking about summer, they're talking about September. Oh, wow. So it's, it's ever evolving in terms of time. And, and I think, you know, when we do go in, we're going to have to be looking for people based on their behavior, really more than any other demographic. So if we see someone who maybe bought a ticket for a museum where they live or um, bought a theater ticket um, that will be an opportunity to maybe send a message digitally right to them. But I think in the beginning, we're probably, you know, we're not going to change people's minds about travel if they're not willing to travel. We need to find those people who may be interested in traveling. Uh, and I think it will be a, a very slow, gradual ramp up to, to our new normal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And in thinking about you know the the incredible impact this is having on industries and on individuals, um, something that I, I wanted to to point out in this painting is sort of the role of philanthropy. So if you look at the the blue balcony in the center of the painting, um, and it's it's very hard to make out here, but there's a little child plucking the winning lottery ticket. Um, oh, that, is that yeah. what the people are looking at down at the bottom? Yeah, so everybody's hoping they're going to win the ticket, right? So this painting sort of roommates on the idea of chance and fortune. Are you going to be one of these winners? Are you the unlucky guy whose horse has fallen over? Um, but, but actually, you know, in this time in Italy, uh, lotteries were organized sort of as charitable uh, events and the, the money raised would go to things like orphanages. Um, so in your opinion, what is the role that philanthropy can, can play during a time like this? What are you seeing happen um, with local Sarasota uh, organizations? How do you anticipate charitable organizations or other nonprofits are going to sort of see their way through this? Well, I think we are so lucky in Sarasota to have as many active foundations, each with a kind of a different role. Mm -hmm. um, so some are helping on the national scene, some are helping some of our unemployed uh, workers. So I think they're helping to fill in those gaps that we know all the different federal government programs are not going to help. And I think Sarasota is unique because we are Florida's cultural coast. Mm -hmm. Our brand, you know, encompasses the beach, but we're different than other Florida communities because of our cultural amenities and you know that it's really going to take philanthropy and support for those cultural opportunities for those cultural organizations to to hopefully help them make it through this and then come back on the other side you know i've seen some of the performing arts asking their patrons if possible rather than get a refund for your performance ticket, would you consider donating it to the organizations? Those things mm -hmm. that really, really will make the difference in whether we still have our vibrant community when, when this is all over. And that's where we really need some philanthropy to help. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I know for, for the Ringling Museum as well, it's, you know, we're, the, the friends of the institution are so important in sustaining us. Um, and I'm sure it's a conversation every or arts organization and other nonprofit is having. Um, so I don't want to take up too much more of your time. You have a lot to do, but I wanted to give the last word to you. What message do you have um, to anyone who might be listening to this art chat? What do you want people to know? Well, I think uh, people will know that, you know, we will have our farmers market back. Mm -hmm. um, we will have people enjoying our performing arts and our museums and attractions. 
but it may be in a different way than it was before. Mm -hmm. You know, we may see people enjoying the market, but they're not all clustered together. You know, that there's more awareness um, of social distancing, mm -hmm. at least until the time that a vaccine comes around. Right. So while I think we can return to normal, I think it, it, it won't be the way it was before. But I think the thing I keep hearing over and over again in our industry is that, you know, people just want to go back to being with people mm -hmm. in some form or fashion, be it on either in, in their own city or on a vacation, but they want to be safe. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this painting sort of serving as the antithesis of social distancing, right? But at least representing that, that idea of community and be people being together and, and that is something to aspire to. Um, so Virginia, thank you so much for taking the time. It was great to hear from you and, and the broader perspective of how Sarasota and its businesses are doing. Um, so I hope, I hope you stay safe and thank you so much. Yes, please stay safe. And thank you for picking a great uh, painting for me. <laughs> we should have talked more about the dogs, but we'll do that on another, we'll do that another time. <laughs> All right, <laughs> bye-bye. Thanks so much.